believe it. Good girl, Skaya. Can your dog do that? Leave things alone when you tell them to? If not, it's definitely an important skill to teach. The next time you drop something on the floor, it could be poisonous to your dog. Maybe it'll be a piece of chocolate or grape or some medication. And what if you're out on a walk and you come across a piece of garbage or even a dead animal? A leave it command is absolutely invaluable in those situations. So today, Skaya and I are gonna show you how you can teach your dog the leave it command. Are you gonna leave it, Skaya? Are you gonna show them? <laughs> Good girl. First, you'll wanna start by grabbing a treat. In my case, I'll be using freeze-dried liver, which Skaya loves, but if it's too hard for your dog to focus with a treat that they really like, you might wanna start with something lower value, like a piece of kibble. So you'll take the food in your hand and present it to your dog. The second they move forward, close up your hand. You don't need to move your hand around for this. Just keep your hand still in one spot. Your dog may try to lick your hand, fuss at it, nuzzle their way into it to get the treat, but keep your hand closed and wait it out. The second your dog gives up, open up your hand and praise them by giving them the treat. Good girl, take it. Repeat this a few times, and when you see your dog is starting to get the hang of it, add in the command leave it when you present them the treat in your hand. Leave it. Good girl, good girl. Here As you, you practice, start increasing the duration that you wait before letting them have the treat. Skaya, leave it. Good girl, here you go, take it. Good girl. Such a good leave it. Start by waiting for three seconds, then five, then 10 seconds. Increasing the duration of time your dog good leaves girl. things for is important as it helps build up their impulse control. And that's exactly what you want. Ultimately, you'll wanna be able to train your dog to leave things indefinitely if necessary. Good girl, take it. Are you getting the hang of this, Kaya? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> good girl. Once your dog is good at leaving a treat alone in your hand, you'll want to try raising the stakes a little. So now you'll start teaching your dog to leave a treat when it's on the ground in front of them. We'll do exactly that by placing a treat on the floor in front of your dog about a foot or so away from them. If they try to reach for it, immediately cover it with your hand. When they leave it alone, Pick up the treat and praise them by giving them the treat or by having another treat in your hand and giving them that one. Make sure you bring the treat to them and don't let them just grab the treat off the floor. Good, leave it. Good girl. Then you can start doing this exercise by placing the piece of food on the floor and standing up. Cover the treat with your foot if necessary so your dog won't touch it. The second your dog leaves it, Praise and reward. Good girl. After that, we're going to start dropping the treat in front of your dog. Start by dropping it from a few inches high. Then try dropping it from about waist height. Good girl. Eventually, we'll start tossing the treat in their direction. Remember to praise and reward when they leave the treat alone and don't forget to give them feedback by saying no when they try to reach for the treat before you let them. Good girl, Skaya. Good girl. Here you go. Are you a good girl, Skaya? Yes? You want the treat? You did such a good leave it, you want the treat? <laughs> okay, there you go. You're all done. They're all gone, Skaya. Are you done, Skaya? You got all the treats? You got all the treats? <laughs> you want more? <laughs> okay. Can you catch this one? Can you catch it? Catch it. Good girl. Now, Skaya didn't learn this overnight, obviously. A lot of practice and consistency are key to get a good leave it command out of your dog. 
Also, make sure you try to use different items to practice leave it with, like favorite toys, foods, or items like paper, tissue paper, or cardboard, which for some reason, dogs absolutely love to chew. This will teach them that the leave it command not only applies to treats, but to everything else in the world as well. Now here's a challenge. Once you've taught your dog the leave it command, see how many treats and toys they can leave alone at one time. Can your dog do as well as Skaya? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time, guys. Ah!